All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna start this off with a disclaimer, and that disclaimer is: is I do not wish to be a false teacher. So take this uh, with a grain of salt. If you don't believe in the Bible or anything religious related, that's fine. But I think you should at least watch this video until the end, so you can make a, an appropriate decision on whether or not this is prophecy or if this is man trying to create prophecy because it could be either way and uh, I like to look at it from both sides but uh, you should at least look at this because this is what your leaders believe this is what the the people who have access to the nuclear weapons believe so you should at least listen you know it is what it is if you don't if you don't agree go ahead thumb me down state your reasons um, if you have other evidence to dis discredit this, then go ahead and post it down. That's what the comments are for. We're going to get started by reading the scripture itself, uh, starting with verse 16 uh, of chapter 13 of Revelations. It also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads, so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark which is the name of the beast or a number of his of its name this calls for wisdom let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast for it is the number of a man that number is 666 and uh, I think we can all agree that math is the universal language that's the only language that is universal what is a hexagram a hexagram is exactly what it sounds like. It's a curse that is being sent visually. Um, <clears throat> this is some of that sacred geometry crap. Uh, you know, think of uh, Instagram. Instagram is sending a picture. So a hexagram is sending a hex, basically. Um, inside the hexagram, you're going to have six points six mini triangles and a six-sided polygon <coughs> and, that, and that is 666 and inside each hexagram is an equal equilateral triangle which uh, all the degrees are 60 60 60 60 <coughs> buy, <coughs> buy and sell um, 666 so sell would be on a barcode would it not yeah, I think so. And uh, there you have a typical six, and it's only located. The only place on a barcode where the six looks like this is on the right-hand side of the barcode. So there we have the right-hand reference. On the back of the $1 bill, we have three hexagrams. Three of them. Most people only know about one of them. That's this one, the one that spells out Mason. Um, but there's one over here above the eagle. And the eagle itself is a hexagram. Um, if you go from the top of the forehead to the bottom of the feet, draw a triangle from the wings to the tail feathers. And that's your third one. And as you can see, and in case you were uninformed of this, which I doubt if you're watching this channel, uh, it spells Mason and it forms a hexagram. And it is a hex, uh, hexagram. So there we have the mark of the beast on the uh, barcode we have the mark of the beast on the dollar now let's buy and sell and it's on the, the uh, right hand side of the barcode is where you'll get your, your first six and um, that, that could very well be the forehead I'm not claiming that it is I'm just saying it's just too many coincidences for me um, and a lot of people know about the, uh, the Illuminati card game uh, you know, if you, if you just do a little research, guys, you'll find out a lot of stuff. Like, you know, if you're looking at this, you're like, what in the world is that? It's, uh, well, look down at the bottom. It says Space Science Computer. So we know it's going to be dealing with that, and it looks like a satellite. That's, I mean, it looks like it's hovering over Earth. So I did a little digging, and uh, for those of you who are interested in the RFID theory, um, Orbit One launches satellite-based RFID service. The company's battery-powered RFID tags transmit GPS and sensor data via the constellation, yada, yada. I'll leave links. Thanks for watching.